Good morning to all. I'm Mr. Khan. Welcome you in Mr. Khan Academy. Today I'm going to start the part one introduction to Arduino boots. Before starting this video lecture, I request all my viewers you can check my previous video series that is introduction to mechatronics, introduction to pneumatic system, and introductory lecture of this series, introduction of Arduino programming series. Means I divided this series in ten parts, and exactly in each part, what I am going to discuss that I explain in this video lecture. The links of all these videos are available in this card icon or in description box or you can visit my channel by simply typing on your taskbar browser taskbar www.youtube.com slash mr khan academy continuously without space without full stop you have to type after slash mr khan academy and after that you have to simply press enter then my channel page will be open where you will get the various video based on the mechatronics topic and also i request my new viewers if you are not subscribe my channel then subscribe my channel to motivate me make a such video in future also hit the like button after watching this video share this video with your friends also those who need it and do not forget to hit the subscribe my channel subscribe my channel to motivate me make more video okay let's start the introduction to arduino boards first the arduino is a flexible programming hardware platform for artist designer and maker of things suppose if you want to make a project based on a mechatronics we can say and you don't know regarding the embedded system yeah uh, microcontroller and then also you want to make your own project then there is a good option you can use the arduino board which is cheapest and easy to assemble the arduino is a open source physical computing platform based on a simple input output board development environment that implements the processing language it is open source hardware that is the best advantage of arduino you doesn't require to take any license anything you can simply purchase the product it is online programming uh, that circuit diagrams and codes are available you can simply assemble it type the code burn it and your project is ready without taking any permission the arduino can be used to develop stand alone interactive objects or can be connect to software on your computer that we will discuss in detail in uh, whatever the, the video i'm going to upload where we are making a various project which can be work on a standalone and which can be interactive with our software through a computer we can interact we can get the output and last the board can be assembled by hand or purchase pre assembled the various type of boards are available on market you can check the link in description box also to if you want to purchase the arduino board if you are not accessible in your city it is based on a processing programming id software which is easy to use development environment used by artist and designer as i said whatever the it is a hardware part but no doubt we have to write the code also that code we can write down with the help of id software okay your program uh, you, uh, you program it via usb cable we have to use the usb cable not a serial port that is a advantage because serial port nowadays it is not available most of the kind of modern computers then through usb you can upload the code on the board and it is open source hardware and software as i said hardware is open source plus the id software also open source if you wish you can download the circuit diagram by all the components and make your own without paying anything to the maker of arduino only you have to pay, uh, pay the price of hardware the open source id the integrated development environment id full form is integrated development environment can be downloaded for free from www.arduino.cc you can visit this site simply type in uh, type this in your taskbar of your browser press enter the page will be open and where you can simply download this id software without any registration process <coughs> as i said not required any lengthy registration process or end user agreement it is open source it is a multi uh, platform environment if you uh, if any system your java is upload updated then it can be run on your system also it is supportable to window mac and linux this is simple one example of symmetric diagram yes uh, pick of uno board okay what is the difference between uno and mega then let's start with the uno what exactly the difference it might be it's a new for you it's look like a microcontroller board the chip is there okay ic is the controller ic then whatever the interface is pre assembled you doesn't require to do anything just purchase it mount the 
necessary sensors actuators over here as i discussed in mechatronics introduction to mechatronics and start your project then what is the difference between ono ono having total 14 digital input output pins then on this upper side whatever the pins are there this is square box is pins then 0 to 13 that is 14 pins these pins are digital input output pins this can be input or output which is specified by the sketch you can create in id after that six analog input pins are there a0 to a5 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is analog inputs input six analog inputs are there pin number 0 to 5 these dedicated analog input pins take analog values like voltage reading from the sensor and convert them into number between 0 to 1 0 2 3 after that six analog output pins are there then you can see this is a digital pins over here the marks are there okay on this marks when the pin number 3 5 6 9 10 11 these are the analog output pins uh, these are actually six of digital pins that can be reprogrammed for analog output using the sketch you can create it in id and last the board can be powered for your computer through usb port then here this is the usb port available you can connect the usb port over here then you can get the power supply from here or if you want to use the standalone then you can connect the battery over here the 9 volt battery is recommended that is 2.1 mm barrel trip center positive if is no power supply plug in into power socket the power will be come from the usb port but as soon as you plug a power supply the board will be automatically use it okay this is all about the uno now ID setup as I said you can go in www.arduino.cc slash en slash main slash software then you will get the two options okay installer and zip file you can choose anyone you can download the zip file and install personally on your system suppose the internet is not available but if internet is there then my best suggestion I means suppose in your system where you want to install the internet is not available you can use the zip file but if your system already internet is there then the same PC you want to install then my suggestion go with the installer because the driver update takes place automatically here with the help of zip file you have to manually update the drivers both options are preferable but my suggestion go with the installer then automatically just follow the instruction easy follow the instructions are there and your software will be installed on your system the popular Arduino boards are Uno, Mega, Nano, Mini, Micro and others also there but normally in our this 10 part series we are going to use mega only uno and mega both are similar boards only the difference are there the memory and number of pins that we'll discuss in detail in next slide okay the difference between uno and mega first we are studying with the uno the specification of uno uno having the 80 mega 328 chip which is 8 bit cpu 16 mega head megahertz clock speed only 2 kb ram is there and 32 kb flash storage is there as 32 kb flash storage is there, that is a limitation less storage flash memory that limits the kind of program you can load on it if the program having the more than 32 kb, uh, KB then you cannot use uno in that case you need to switch to mega what is the mega mega is 80 mega 2560 pin number which is 8 bit cpu same 16 megahertz clock speed is the same but ram is 8 kb and flash storage instead of 32 here we are getting 256 kb storage total 56 digital input outputs are there how many pins are there if you remember exactly 14 pins are there but here we are getting 0 to 13 after that 14 to 53 over here this is a mega boot previous one is uno is little bit bigger one as compared to uno because of number of pins and memory the 16 analog input pins are there if you remember the analog input pins are 6 here we are getting the 16 plus 10 then these are the 0 to 16 analog input pins 4 UIT is there and compatible with most shields designed for the Arduino some extension ports are also there for Arduino to making some other type of project that shields are compatible most of the shields compatible with the Mega then Throughout this video whatever the board i'm going to use i'm going to use the mega but price of mega is little bit higher as compared to uno you can prefer you can purchase the uno also the link of uno and mega is available in description box you can check it and you can purchase from there the this is all about the induction to arduino board as i said i'm going to only discuss the uno and mega 
rest of the things if you pref if you required more information other words please you may request in comment box then i will make the video on other uh, in that things also and also if you want to learn in detail how to install the id software then please make the request in comment box and i will make the video based on that if you want to learn more then you can refer this book beginning arduino programming that book is available online you can purchase it from there you can learn more about the arduino programming and also you can refer the free access by using the www.arduino.cc there also you get the most of the details regarding the arduino book thank you thank you very much for watching this video uh, you can check my previous series also introduction to mechatronics electrical action system and introduction to pneumatic system do not forget to hit the subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed then subscribe my channel to motivate me make a such video in future also hit the like button share this video with your friends also and if you are in any doubt any comment any suggestion please mention in comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much see you soon bye bye take care